Right, have you ever seen one of these before? If you're at home during the daytime, you probably have. It's the Jehovah's Witnesses' latest recruitment tool. But there's something about this latest one that's got quite a sad irony about it. It's called, Is There a Creator? Well, I'm going to read something from the Bible and address this question. Because although they've got, they, they believe there is a creator, they've missed something really massive and it's very important. In Colossians 1, verse 16 to 18, it says this. And this is speaking about Jesus Christ. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in, all thi in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. Well, in this, in this booklet, he doesn't have the supremacy, because let's have a look at what it says. On page 10, it says this, Jesus believed the Genesis account of creation. Was he mistaken? Jesus believed the account. Jesus was behind, behind creation. He is the creator. He himself says something else in the Bible that's important too. This is in John 8.24. I told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be. You will indeed die in your sins. And if we just move over to the page a little, to verse 58 of John 8, it says this. I tell you the truth, Jesus answered. Before Abraham was born, I am. At this, they picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus hid, slipping away from the temple grounds. And the reason they picked up the stones to stone him is because they recognised he was claiming to be God. But if they've recognised it, why have the Jehovah's Witnesses not recognised it? Their propagation.